Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to another video. This will be one that be a little more in depth than what you guys are used to. So full disclosures, we'll get that out of the way. First thing, Lead and Steel did send me this Optic 4 review. It was at a very discounted price and I mean a very discounted price. I got in contact with Ahmad via Instagram and discussed that it would be a good fit for me to bring you guys this content and review the optic and let him know what I think. He either gave me the option to buy it, T and E and send it back to him or T and E with the option to buy. I chose the option to buy because I wanted to support a smaller company. These guys do not have unlimited budgets. A lot of this stuff go into T and E to bring better products to the end consumer. And to sum it up, this is what they did. This red knot is a good example of what can be done on a smaller budget to accommodate the higher end user. So let's get into the specs of this. The PB3, it is made out of 7075 T6 aluminum. It houses lens and the sitting plates. And it also displays a very crisp dot. It's a 3L MOA dot. Depending on what mountain solutions that you want to use for a rifle, depending on what you want to do with this red dot, you can use it as a duty red dot or on a competition sub gun, but I opted to use it on a rifle, not a sub gun, a rifle. And I will just say that it complements my AUG very well. It worked well with my Noveski as well too, but it's a little more at home with the AUG simply because I already have a riser on the AUG by itself and when I put the Reptilia mount on it it brought it up a little more so it's a lot more ergonomic for me to be able to raise the rifle up and get a clear sight picture out of this PB3 and let me just say the glass on the PB3 it is very crisp that 3 MOA dot you can reach out to 4 300 400 yards easily but that's not what it's made for if you want to reach out that far, you need to put some higher magnification on. I'm just saying that because it is very clear. There's no chromatic aberration on the edges or anything. What you see is what you see. No distortion or anything. So let's get into the battery life of this thing. The six months that I've had it, I've had it on setting four for six months straight. Four months on a Noveski, two months on the AUG. And from the specs, it's saying that you can get almost three and a half years of runtime off of it. So I think I may have put 4,000 hours on it, somewhere in that ballpark. It's still clear and crisp. Very clean edges on the dot. It's a perfect circle. It is IPX rated for submersion up to 10 meters for 90 minutes. That's an hour and 30 minutes for some of you guys that haven't went to school. It is night vision compatible. It does have three night vision settings along with seven daylight settings. So I ran it on three and four. It just depends on how bright it was or how dark it was. It is very user friendly. It is a simple red dot with complex features on it. It has serrations for extra grip. That's if you're running it on a pistol. And the objection lens stands off for one-handed pistol slide manipulations. The brightness controls on it are recessed into the red dot itself so you don't accidentally bump it, turn it up, or turn it down. It's where you need it, when you need it, all of the time. And in these six months of me carrying it, I have been beating the crap out of this thing. I don't mean like focus tripping it into a boulder or beating it and dropping it, but everyday usage. This is what most of the end users are gonna do. This is not a military optic. The regular consumer like myself or you that's watching this and you're on the fence, you don't know what you wanna do as far as getting a acro or another affordable option. I'm not gonna say this is not a budget option. It is not. When you're getting into the plates and the mountain systems and the dot itself, it will get a little pricey. I'm not going to lie about that. 
but it's well worth it. It also has beveled leading edges on the battery compartment that helps in reholstering. And this brings me to another point. With that battery tray being on the left side like that, me personally, the, the, the holsters that I have, I'd be a little worried about it pinching my skin simply because I have a little stomach. But I don't think it will be a problem as long as I practice and, and refine my own skills on holstering it. Because I've never carried a dot this size before. It is a little chunky dot, but I think it will work very well on a pistol. I didn't opt to put it on a pistol simply because I couldn't find the plates to actually mount it to my Glock. I tried to mount it to my dagger via a Gen 3 Glock plate from Arrow Precision, but it just simply would not work. It made the dot offset and can it to the side when I did mount it to my rifle. You should see some footage rolling around here. It was just simply out of spec. Not the dot itself. The plate was out of spec. And when I screwed it down and torqued it down, it canted the red dot to the left. So it picked it up and moved it just so slightly. So that will throw your accuracy off. My suggestion would be to find a higher end, more specked out riser like the Reptilia and it negates that problem with the screws sticking out the side and the plate which it it takes the aesthetic away from it so the reptilia mount with the pb3 is more aesthetically pleasing the pb3 does have a 30 percent larger window than the aimpoint acro 2 which is a 21 by 17 millimeter and then i also mentioned this is a very lightweight dot it is at 2.3 ounces for the size it is a lightweight dot i guess it's because it's on a rifle I don't know how it's gonna feel when I put it on a pistol, but when I do, I will report it back to you guys. Also, did I mention that the PB3 has a lifetime warranty? I don't think you'll need to use it, but it does have a lifetime warranty. Usually when a company says that they have a lifetime warranty, I am a little sketchy about that because I already think that product is gonna break, but this is not giving me any vibes that it's gonna break. It comes in several colors, which you have three main colors, black, flat dark earth, and jade. It has mounting solutions, which they will send you the plate at a discounted price from the Glocks to the MMPs, CZP10s, the VP9s, Dawson Precision for the Staccatos, or no plate, which that is the cheaper option. But me, personally, if I could do it all over again, I will get the plate from them. That way I can have a solution to mount it without having to go to another city to find it. They also have the KE Arms carry handle mount, which it is about $90. The one third mount from lead and steel, it is 50. Now on to my findings. The only issue that I could see coming from this and I don't think it would be a big issue. Well, this it's not even an issue. It's just that I try to find some things wrong with it. I'm not gonna say everything is perfect because it's not. Everything does have its quarks. The main issue that I'm looking at is the torrents. They are almost they almost sound like they're declick, but you can actually hear them if you listen to them. Everything you need as far as tightening down and adjusting does come in the box so when i used the wrench that was included it did click just ever so slightly but you can hear it so they are clicked it's not like one of those d click cheapo red dots where you won't be able to hear anything and lose zero once you drop it once it's not anything like that it does not come in any shoddy packaging the packaging is very good as well too everything that they claim that this dot will do it does my advice to you, if you're in the market for an acro footprint red dot, I would go with this. I would 100% go with it again. These guys have my respect. Ahmad is a stand-up guy, and I think the company would do amazing things, seeing that they're bringing the newer line of rifles that are affordable with these options as far as their red dots, the Promethean and the PB3. 
I think there would be very good options for the budget end up to a higher end consumer. Guys, if you like this kind of content, hit that like, share, subscribe. Come back and enjoy some more videos with me. Let me know if you like this kind of editing, the information that I presented, and I'll keep doing this type. But if not, I'll go back to the old format. And be sure to go over and say hi to the guys at Lead and Steel. A mom will pretty much get back with you. He's a down to earth guy, and I sure do appreciate those guys for sending this red dot out to the channel and entrusting me with it. See y'all guys in the next one.